Well, good day. Flat Earth Aussie Rusk out here. Taking a look at the moon. Don't want to focus too good, does it? Maybe if we try again, not focus on the dot on the screen. No, that won't work either. Let's try a different way. There we go. Now we got the moon. Eight times zero zoom. It is the second day of May 2020. The sun is going down. The surface out in the water. There's Cape Byron. There's the Tayaguza Beach. And if we look straight ahead here, there is Julian Rocks. My go to place to prove the Earth is flat. Because look at it above the horizon as the tide is rising. Now, that's what I really come to talk about here is the tide. Because as you can see, hard sand, water, soft sand. Totally zoomed out. Bit hard to see because I did leave it a little bit late. The sun has already disappeared behind the hills there. Oh, yeah. The sun is still hitting the beach up there further to the north because of course being winter time that's uh, where the sun goes towards the north so um, point I'm trying to make here hard firm sand the tide is still coming in now if the moon is over there Pulling the tide, it should be almost at its lowest. Instead, it has been increasing. And despite the swell actually looking reasonably small, it's actually quite powerful. Went out for a swim in it, and that shore break, not this little tiny here. Oh, there's a bit better. It's actually a decent break. Gave me a couple of good hammerings, I can tell you. So, um, that's the point I've been trying to make for some time about the tides. Is the moon is not pulling? It clearly cannot be pulling if the tide is increasing while the moon is over there coming towards us. That is looking to the east. That there is the easternmost point of the Australian mainland. Julian Rocks is north of it. The moon appears to be north, but of course, if I went up to Cape Byron, it would still appear at that exact same angle due east, pretty much at this time of day. So I'm looking due east where the moon is. The tide is coming in, and as the moon passes overhead, it is my prediction that once it gets over there, then the tide will start to recede. I'd like to be proven wrong, but um. So far, all I've got is people telling me the gravitational force of the moon pulls the tides around. One moon, two tides a day. Get that, India. I'm Flat Earth Aussie Roscoe. And this is where I live.